Howdy everybody and welcome back to our Game Maker Studio 2 Fundamentals course. So today we're going to be talking about the most important thing in Game Maker Studio 2 probably. Tile, I mean not tiles, objects. So we are going to create a new object here the same way we created a sprite. So come on over and uh, there we go. We can give it a name, object underscore player. And we can assign to it a sprite. So let's give it this uh, sprite here. And we can even give it a collision mask if we feel like it. Collision masks are a bit more advanced, so we'll go over this in a, a later episode. And our object has a few different options, such as visible. So if we want it to be visible when we start the game or not, uh, we probably do want it to be visible. Persistent, again, this is a uh, Kind of has some of the same problems with uh, the room persistency, but it's actually much more useful because we can actually use it to move our player around from room to room and allows us to keep all the options and stuff the player has set to him while we do it. And solid and uses physics. We'll ignore those for now because they are part of the physics engine, which generally we don't use. So... We also have a lot of other different options here, but for the time being, we'll ignore them. And we also have the opportunity to add events. And events are where the code for the player goes. For now, we'll just add a create event. And next episode, I'll go over what each of these events actually are for you. And that is where we will actually put code when it comes time to us to actually do that. So we now have an object and it has a sprite. So let's add it to our room real quick. As you can see, we are still on the tile layer. So it'll tell us, no, you can't add this onto here. However, if we come back to our instance layer, we are able to add our instance there. So now we have our red player sprite on top of our weird background so all right i believe that's everything for objects for now so we'll just uh let me just make sure real quick yeah i think that'll uh, be good for the moment and we'll be going over all these other options more in depth later on so thank you everybody for watching and good luck with your programming